Youth subcultures in two minutes. As the name suggests, a subculture is like a smaller culture within a culture. This might seem like a light or a trendy topic, like music, fashion, partying, but the literature on youth subcultures goes back about a century and it gets into all the tough topics that social scientists specialize in, like race, ethnicity, gender, class. Those are all especially relevant here. Subcultures are how many youth, especially in cities, express those parts of their identity and find community, especially in a hostile environment. Sometimes they do that in a way that involves taking a stand against racism or homophobia or other forms of oppression that impact upon their lives and their communities. But it's unpredictable and it's also dangerous. So working class urban youth can also become their own oppressors basically or just the oppressor. And other times subcultures have nothing explicitly to do with politics or power. It's just about pop culture and fashion. There's some important sociology on the British youth subcultures of the 60s and the 70s. Uh, the mods and the rockers the skinheads, which started off as a multicultural thing and then became partly hijacked by racism, and then later on the punks. And there's more recent studies of identity and belonging among more recent things like fandoms and increasingly online subcultures. It tends to be an urban topic. There's, there's subcultures in rural areas as well, of course, and in small towns. And with the internet, anybody, anywhere can get into anything. But for the most part, subcultures still seem to happen, mainly in cities. And a lot of the research is focused on subcultures as, as a feature of urban life, like how young people in urban environments facing alienation and exclusion have found some way of, of making connections and making their own lives meaningful.